on guys? In today's video we're going to cover one super simple tip that can help us break through a strength plateau if we find ourselves stuck in a rut using the same weights and we're just not able to progress like we know we can. In general, if our goal is to get stronger, if our goal is to be able to lift heavier weights, then we need to incorporate and use different strategies which allow us to use heavier weights. The tip I'm going to go over today is longer rest periods. Thanks for the revolutionary tip, Steve. It's not anything crazy, it's not anything brand new, and I'm sure it's something you guys have heard about in the past. However, even those of us who do already know it, it's still good to hear the occasional reminder that unless we are in a specific hurry that day, or we just have a personal preference where we like to train faster, there's no reason we need to rush our workouts. And along with this strategy, along with taking longer rest periods to help us lift heavier weights, this in turn also translates into better hypertrophy, better strength gains. This is because as we get stronger in whatever rep range, it indirectly lets us increase our volume because now we're using heavier weights for the same number of reps. So for example, if you were doing dumbbell incline bench press three sets of 10 with 80s, but then you progress and get stronger and now you can do three sets of 10 with 90 pound dumbbells, this means you're getting in more volume, which is gonna translate to better hypertrophy, better size gains. Using strategies which allow us to lift heavier weights like taking longer rest periods become even more important as we diet down, as we get leaner, and as we have less resources coming in, because now we're eating less calories, to help us sustain our strength, our volume, so we can sustain our muscle mass. So as an example, right now I'm currently dieting for a couple of photo shoots, and because I'm eating less, I'm taking in less calories, less carbohydrates, and I'm doing more cardio, it means whenever I'm working out, whenever I'm doing a set, or just my workout in general, it's easier for me to fatigue a bit quicker. One way I can kind of help offset this to help me maintain my strength, to help me maintain my total volume so that way I don't lose muscle mass, is to prolong my rest periods and take a little bit longer between sets. By taking these longer rests between sets, it allows us to put even more focus and more intensity into that next set so again, we can lift heavier weights, translates to more volume, translates to better strength and size gains. How long should we rest? In terms of a specific time frame, there is no specific number. The key is just to take the amount of time that we need for us to fully recover. So stuff like squats, deadlifts, heavy overhead press, stuff like that, big heavy compound movements, those are gonna take longer to recover from than something like a lateral raise or a dumbbell curl. So for the big compound lifts, instead of rushing them and trying to keep up that fast pace, if we need to take four, five, six, sometimes even seven or longer minutes to recover, we can really put that focus and intensity in that next set so we can really focus on moving heavier weights, then that's what's gonna be most beneficial for getting stronger. Stuff like isolation work, you might only need a minute and a half, two minutes, maybe two and a half minutes to recover to get that full intensity back. It really just depends on the specific exercise and your training experience and how conditioned you are at the moment. But the main takeaway is that there is no specific time. The main thing we want to do is just wait as long as we need until we feel we're fully focused, fully recovered, which allows us to put the most intensity into that next set. This video is meant to be a super quick tip, which may be new to some, but for many of us was probably just a good reminder that we don't need to rush it unless we do, and that by taking longer rest periods in the long run, this can lead to better strength and size gains. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to show your support by hitting the like button below, subscribe so that we don't miss out on any new information coming out, and share this video with a friend or on one of your social media platforms so we can help the channel and our community to grow. I'll see you guys in the next video.